Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this session, we're going to look at how to create some basic slides and navigate through those slides. So first of all, when you open PowerPoint, you're usually presented with a title slide. So in this example, we are going to create three slides about the Battle of Waterloo. So there it says click to add title, but you don't actually need to click. You can just start typing. It then says click to add subtitle. Again, you don't need to do that. You can use a key command, which is control and enter, which will move you down to the next text box. Type in the date of the Battle of Waterloo, June the 18th, 1815. Now I need a new slide. Now there are several options here. I could click new slide. I could use a control and M key or I could try control enter again because there isn't a text box on that first slide it creates a new slide and a new text box so now title for this one is British forces control enter to come down three points on a slide is what I usually recommend press enter now if you want an indent I can press you can press tab or you can click these two buttons to indent or decrease indent, increase indent at the top there. So, guards is a sub bullet, press enter. Now I want to go back to a main bullet. Shift tab will take me back, or I can click this decrease indent. Next guy on the list, pick 10, enter tab, infantry. Enter shift tab and then Uxbridge. I lost his leg at Waterloo. Cavalry. And I normally recommend three points to a slide, and on the slide, you don't write a large chunk of text because it is off putting to people that's watching the presentation. These should be prompts for you to deliver your presentation. This is a tool to help you deliver a presentation. It is not the presentation. Next slide, control enter. French forces. Control enter. Napoleon. Enter. Tab. Guards. Enter. Shift tab. Marshal Ney. Enter. Tab. Cavalry, enter, shift tab, and the next guy is in charge of the artillery, enter, tab, artillery, and there's my three slides. Now to save this, control S, it's picking up the title Waterloo, it's going into my documents, that's okay, so save, and it drops it in there. There's your title. Now, down the left hand side, you have what's called a mini preview of your slides where you can, if you need to, reposition these by just simply dragging and letting go. If you want that slightly larger, you can expand that or even smaller, whichever you prefer. Now, down the bottom, you have a notes area. Again, you can expand that or reduce it. There is a button here to click that on or off. If you know it's there, you can just drag the screen up like that. Now, notes is where you, in my mind, you add the detail of your presentation. So I'm going to use these two buttons here, or this one, numbered list, one. So when Wellington comes on the screen, I want to say this, born 1769, 1852 he died, um, born in Dublin, when the second one comes up, Picton, shot in head, third one comes up, lost leg. So that's what I want to say, or I want other people to say if I send this to other people to deliver, uh, as a bare minimum. And again, I've seen PowerPoint presentations where there is absolutely loads and loads of text here in the notes. 
and people are expected to either memorize or read those notes. It, it detracts from delivering the presentation if you're stopping to look down to read your notes. So I always recommend people try and memorize what they have to say and use these as a prompt. Now, once you've finished with the notes, you can click it, up, click it off, show more of the slide. And then you can look at this side again. Let's have a look at this. If I click this button here, this next button, which says normal, which is the view that we've got at the moment. And then again, it shows me what's called outline, slide outline view. So this view is what you can use to move text from one slide to another. Now, I know you can copy and paste, but this is what this is for. And you could also, if you're just typing text onto a slide, you can create slides very quickly by using this view. Now, for example, if Napoleon and Gars should have been on this slide, I've clicked on it there to select it, and then simply drag it up into the position that you would like it to go. Now I'm going to do Control Z for undo, because I don't want that. But let me just show you how this would work if you was typing slides quickly. So if I press enter there and then do shift tab and again shift tab, I create a slide. I type, I press enter, I tab, it becomes a bullet, enter, a bullet, enter, shift tab, a slide, and so on. Enter, tab. So you can very quickly, if you're a touch typist, you can very quickly create your slides through that. So I just want to delete those off and click that one back to normal and Let's get rid of that. The next one along is slide sorter view, which is very similar to the mini preview that we have already looked at. You can move your slides around in this view. Obviously, you'd see a lot more slides. And if I zoom that down, if you had 100 slides, you could see quite a few of them by just zooming that down. Or you can then again just it like that. Now, you'd also see if there was any animation on any of these slides, which there isn't at the moment, you would get a, a little symbol under each slide, which you would be able to click, and it would give you a mini preview of what the animation was, or the transition was for that slide. Now to get back into normal view, I could click this button, normal, or you could just double click on any slide, and it will bring you back into normal view. The next button along the bottom is reading view, which shows this as a book, and you have a set of navigation arrows to take you through the pages like a book and then you still got the other buttons there like so so i'll come back down to normal and then the last one of these group of buttons in the corner is slideshow when you click that one it puts the whole thing into presentation view which you should always check before you save and deliver this because sometimes it looks great on your computer but when you put it into a projector or a tv it doesn't always look the same so always check finish it off it comes back down to where you started from the key command to do that is the f5 function key which i've just pressed while it is in full screen you can press the b key and that will pause and black the screen and press b again it will show the screen or W to wipe the screen, and W again, and then escape to come back down. Now, if you're on a particular slide and you wanted to have a look at that particular slide, the key command for that would be Shift F5, and you would go into full screen on that slide. And again, escape. So that's how you create your basic slide. So the tip there is three points to each slide, and if you can, three points to a presentation because we do not remember 10 points, so it's no point giving people 10 points. People probably just about remember three points. So that's my advice. Don't clutter the slides with lots of text. Use your notes, and then don't clutter the notes with lots of information. Keep it simple so people can read quickly what they need to see. So that's the end of this session. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.